welcome back to the video. Today I'll be showing you guys the brand new Kinex Outboard 2.0. Now first I'll show you guys the brand new features and then we'll do some underwater footage of the propeller spinning and then we'll wrap up the video. Alright, let's dive right in. Now first we have the shifting system here. Now this is kind of a complex system. It's not really it took me a long time, trial and error, to finally get it right. But I'm very proud of what the um, how it works. And it's actually, if you think about it, it's simple. It's not as complex as I thought it was in the beginning. So now if you pull up this handle here, it will lift this arm, therefore lift this um, shaft, which will, which will lift this cylinder up. And that will lift it up off of that little tan piece there therefore disengaging the two sh um, shafts from each other. Now if I let it down, the cylinder will drop back down and engage both of the shafts. So now both shafts from the engine and the propeller shaft will be locked. Then we have the choke here. This is actually one of the most simplest systems on here. So zero is off. And this is slightly on. Two and three. The different throttle positions. We can close it back up. We have the RPM gauge. It does not. It doesn't work, but it's just there for aesthetics. Then we have the big engine. Now this engine is a inline three. It's a two-stroke, and it has one valve per cylinder, and that's an exhaust valve. So it has an intake port, but it does not have an um, a exhaust port to make it a little bit more fuel efficient. So you can see, here's the crankshaft right over there, and there's a glimpse of the camshaft. Now we have some of the gearing down there. So you can see the gears for the camshaft, and then the gears for the final um, shaft that goes down to the propeller shaft. And we got the jack plate over here. And then here's a... Um, a view where you can see how massive this thing is. It's really huge. Um, I weighed it on our scale and it weighs just a little over three pounds, which is amazing if you think about it because these rods are light, but if you combine them all, they actually turn out to be really heavy. All right, without further ado, I'll show you guys the underwater footage and we'll wrap up this video. video um, I worked very hard on this outboard and I really hope you liked it make sure to um, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the, ch to the channel and click the little bell down there because you'll get notifications of when I post these awesome connects creations all right guys thank you guys for watching